Today we are discussing good or bad laws. Whom to blame? When the laws are good or the laws are bad, whom should we blame? Or whom should we praise? You know, I'm making the video to set the record right. And this is why I advise that every adult Nigerian should be able to have a copy of the Nigerian Constitution and have a personal appreciation of the content of the Constitution, no matter how bad or what you think about the Constitution. There is need for you to have personal knowledge of the Constitution. I'm setting the record right in the sense that I see the confusion that's happening over uh, everywhere in the nation as to who should be blamed for good or bad law because some things are happening in society. It is important that we realize that the constitution is clear as to who makes law. And the truth is, whether we like it or not, the executive have no business with lawmaking. The executives have no business with lawmaking. When there's a violation of the law, the right for people to call is the executive. When there's violation, breakage of law and order, the executives are responsible. When there are bad judgments in the court, the judiciary is responsible. But when there is question as to which law and what law is made, the nature of law is made, the legislature are fully responsible. And therefore, to blame the executive for an act of the legislature is a very wrong thing. We cannot be dining and winding with legislatures and be blaming executive for legislative failure or success, as the case may be. We must appreciate the father. And legislatures, the, in fact, the arms of government, every arm of government has no power at its disposal. And the legislature is so powerful that if legislature make law and the executive refuse to ask, give assent, legislature can by themselves pass that bill into law. And the executive will be bound by that, by that law. And perhaps we don't realize that even the executives have to beg, they will have to lobby their way through legislature many times. Because the first thing, the executive cannot even spend money without the authorization of the legislature. So, so, so it, is not, it is not proper for me, for instance, when any law uh, seems to uh, be against my interest, any law seems to run for my interest, or I think rather that the law, certain law does not favor me. For me to be blaming the executive, my first point of course should be the legislator. The legislator representing my own constituency. Because the functions are constitutionally designated. Everyone has his own designated function. No one should shift blame. And you miss a uh, governor will say it's president, a uh, legislator will say it's president. That is not correct. Legislatures make law. If the laws are good, they take the praise. If the laws are perceived to be uh, anyhow, they must be accountable. They have to be held responsible. They cannot dodge that responsibility. The duty of the executive is just to give assent to the law, which the legislature can even dispense with. So, and in law, the, that the executive made the bill does not give them any significance. The law does not recognize the man who proposes a bill. Every the act of the National Assembly or act uh, laws of the state as assembly, there's no legislative uh, executive act or judicial act. Uh, all laws are made by the executive, the, the legislature. So we must understand. What I'm saying this is God. We must, if we must, apportion blame. No when setting blame are for the executives. No when setting blames are for the judiciary. No when other blames are for the legislature. If it pertains to the nature of law, what kind of law that is made, it is a, a, a legislation. When you talk about violation, there are laws that are not being obeyed, lawlessness. Then you can blame the executives and then the uh, uh, judiciary for any uh, uh, defect in law, in, in the interpretation of law. But when it comes to lawmaking, the duty is executive and uh, legislation. And they must take responsibility, take praise, take uh, whatever Nigerians have to say about their law. So what I'm saying in essence is this. 
Know the relationship between you and your legislature. Know when to call your legislature to order. If any law you don't like, you don't need to cast a passion on the president. Go to your legislature and address your, 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 the, 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 the process of lawmaking. And our nation will be orderly. We need to, because our traditional mentalities are affecting our democracy. We just look at the king is all in all. Democracy, nobody's all in all. Powers are shared. Powers are shared. As executive depends on legislature, legislature depends on legisl uh, executive and the judiciary. No one is all in all. So, push blames on their portion appropriately. And each institution of government will learn to take responsibility for their actions and inaction. Thank you.